Oh boy, audio listens. Oh boy, John TV One, audio listens, whom I have named so because if you will remember, back in the day, George Lucas asked the immortal question Is the audience really listening? And I somehow became obsessed with the word audio, and audio isn't. The audience isn't listening. The audio isn't listening. Is the audience listening? The audience is listening. The audio isn't listening. I don't know. I did too much LSD. Not now, before. What happened now was that I tried for three days to get a take of some shit I wanted to do at the skate park, and some kid who wants to be annoying for reasons let's not go into theorizing about ruined the take and then I went back there as if I was gonna bitch slap him into another century and maybe get beat up by a 17 year old kid judging from the take what happened after that was that I went around smoking lots of weed and trying to cheer myself up and didn't in the process I remembered what I made up the other night so now ladies and gentlemen the late night sessions in addition and along with the Schenectady Simple Persons Theater Ensemble and Mutual Life, the company you make rich, bring you a moment of theater. The Dalai Lama explains to Richard Gere why he shouldn't put a gerbil in his butthole. Now, Richard, you must not put a gerbil in your butthole, Richard. Richard, you, how would you like it if you're a little furry animal and you're in your cage and you're eating your food and had your water and the next thing you know, you're immersed in a man's butthole. You must give animals the same rights you would ask them to give you if they were in charge of you, Richard. Richard, 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 you are an officer and a gentleman. Now you are in the emergency room with a gerbil in your butthole. This cannot happen. You are, you are a great man. You must meditate on the rights and the essential decency and the essential integrity of all living creatures, not not just human beings, Richard. You must not, I'm telling you. I, the Dalai Lama, your guru, I'm telling you. You must not put a gerbil in your butthole. Okay, you, you, you were, okay, you are an American gigolo, but you are also an officer and a gentleman. Be an officer and a gentleman, gentleman, <laughs> Richard. <sighs> Do not put a gerbil in your butthole. I had more the other night, because somehow, it was the middle of the night, and my dad, the comedian and cardiologist, and Richard Pryor, and Mitch Hedgeberg, whose name I cannot pronounce, and Squealy McDoulis, my gay black character, had all amassed in my head, and they were holding court. And, you know, Squealy said something about, you know, Richard Gian Jerbos. And then I realized that I could do the Dalai Lama because he sort of sounds Indian. He doesn't really sound Chinese because he's Tibetan and it's sort of on the border. And, you know, the Buddha was actually, uh, he was actually, uh, from what I remember, Indian and then went to China. I don't, the Buddha was not Chinese, strangely enough. He was a Hindu man from what I just wanted. He was a, you know, not Hindu. He was a, he was the Buddha, but he was from India, sort of, but not really, but it wasn't really Chinese. I think maybe he was like Jesus. He was like sort of a universal guy, you know? Is he Jewish? Is he black? Who killed him? Who does he belong to? Who can we pawn him off on? Stuff like that. Above the that could have been funnier, but hey, it's the late night sessions. And again, this has been brought to you by the Schenectady Simple Persons Theatre Ensemble and Mutual Life, the company you make rich. Because, damn it, you know somebody has to be rich, and you know it's not going to be you. So just give us all your money, and we'll become rich. And then you can have whatever the fuck it is you want out of it. And just then we'll be rich. And you'll have made us rich, and at least you'll have contributed to our being rich. Because let's face it, you're always going to be poor. You're going to die poor. At least if you pay money to Mutual Life, the company you make rich, you'll have insurance, and then when you die, we'll be rich and you won't. So there. Ta-da.